Now, have you ever wondered what it would be like to have an F1 car go up against an Indy car go up against a NASCAR go up against a V8 supercar all in the same race? Well, the funny thing is on R-Factor 2, you can kind of do that. Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here. And today I'm doing a motorsport speed comparison where I'm going to be taking a bunch of different cars from different motorsport categories from around the world and having them run a one lap race around the Circuit de la Sarthe, otherwise known as Le Mans. I was limited to how much I could actually use because not every single motorsport category has a more on R Factor 2, but we got all the main ones and I'm going to go through the grid here in just a sec. But first, definitely take this video with a pinch of salt. It is R Factor 2 and these are AI drivers driving these cars, uh, so they're definitely not going to be uh, too realistic in terms of how they drive them. Uh, and they are also R Factor 2 mods, so they're not like real world scanned like what you'd find in iRacing. Uh, so they may not be 100% identical to how fast they would be in real life. Uh, but yeah, it's still going to be interesting to see how they differ from each other in an actual speed comparison on R Factor 2. So first up, we have the Formula E car. This is from the 2020 season. This is the Robin Frins uh, Virgin, whatever it is, Vision Version racing car. Next up, the Alexander Rossi Indy car. Then just a 125cc cart for why not. Now this I think is called the Fun Cup. It's just like a bug with a wing on the back. Formula Ford, good old NASCAR Cup car, Jimmy Johnson livery. LMP2 car, uh, this is an Orica. Lando Norris, Formula One, McLaren from 2019. This is a USF 2000. Ford Mustang V8 supercar from 2019. Uh, BTCC Ford Focus. Now I couldn't find any WTCR mod out there, so this is the closest sort of modern day hatchback touring car I could find. Representing the GT3 category is the newest sort of GT3 car I could find, which was the McLaren 720S, I believe it's called. We have a Daytona prototype from the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship. This is the Penske Acura Renault Clio Cup car. Xfinity Series car. I couldn't find a Truck Series mod, um, which I'm sure there's one out there. I just couldn't seem to find one. Formula 4. Indy Lights. Representing the GTE category is an Aston Martin. Uh, there's quite a few GTE cars on R Factor 2, but this was just the one that I liked the best because I'm British. Uh, Toyota Racing Series car, Formula 3. Super Kart, just because, again, why not? Porsche GT3 Cup car. This is, an, uh, I think, a Porsche Carrera Cup Australia paint scheme. And lastly, the series that I used to race in in real life, the Indy Pro 2000 car, or what used to be known as the Pro Mazda. Uh, this is the PM18 chassis by Tatus. And, yeah, what I am going to be driving is... <laughs> a Formula V. Now this is probably one of, if not the slowest car on the grid. Now, I'm actually going to split today's video into two races. The first one, we are going to be driving a Formula V. I'm going to be starting off of pole. Uh, I'm going to give myself a little bit of a head start. So basically just jump the start and try and survive and see if we could just not finish last. I just want to get as far away from the pack as possible and then get a good sort of speed comparison and really witness the difference between a Formula V and say an F1 car. In the next race, I'm going to go and drive a Formula 1 car start from the back give the pack a 30 second head start and see if we can pass every single car before the lap is finished anyway alrighty, here we go so 24 cars all from different categories around the world we're going to do one lap around the circuit de la sarth and see where everyone stacks up see if we could just survive as soon as i hit this button we're going to get underway and go and hopefully <laughs> we can just make around the first couple corners Ooh. all right we're off yeah, got a bit of wheel spin there. I didn't think these things could wheel spin, to be honest. And the rest of the field is underway as well. So we got a little bit of a head start. Not as much as I was hoping, but... Come on, this thing is so slow. I can see him coming in my mirror already. Oh, that's an Indy car. Oh, that's an F1 car. <laughs> Jeez, man, look at the freaking grip in those things. They're gone. All right, made it through turn number one and two. Uh, don't hurt me. God, look at that. i just seen the F1 car go in the distance. Well, that Formula E is a lot quicker than I thought it was, but it's getting pushed by the LMP2 car. Oh, American stock car driver. Oh, Jesus. No, no. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. That's so typical. <laughs> Dave doesn't know how to turn right. Oh, no, 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 no. I just let him have it. Uh... Oh, that is hilarious. Uh, there's the uh, Toyota racing car. What else have we got? Man, we're going to get passed by just about everything before we even get to the first chicane. That Porsche is actually going to be quite uh, quick on the straight. Those GT3 Cup cars are really good. Well, here's the Beetle. Come on. Oh, uh, he's <laughs> slipped. Well, slipstreaming what all the slipstream we can give him, I suppose. 
I mean, we're about half the height of him. Oh, Jesus. Hold it straight. All right, and brake. Oh, some sort of open wheel cars had a moment. Here comes some of the touring cars. Uh, oh, here comes the supercar. Look at it go. <laughs> it's, so, it's so ridiculous. Look at that. It just doesn't look normal. Oh, my days. Oh, uh, mate, there's the, the Clio. It's been a long lap. <laughs> I have not done any practice or anything, so I have no idea how this car is supposed to handle. Okay, the last thing left uh, to pass us is the cart. So the question is, is a 125cc cart quicker than a uh, Formula V car? I think we're going to be quicker on the straights, but honestly, I've driven carts. I mean, the six-speed shifter cart uh, that I used to race, uh, it's called KZ2, um, that was the name of the category, was by far and away quicker than this. Man, for, geez, man, for something that has so little power, this thing has absolutely no grip whatsoever. Like, surely you would have some form of grip. Like, what are these tires made of, honestly? Anyway, the, the cart's slowly catching up to us through the corners because it can basically hold them flat out, but as soon as we get to the straights, we start to ease away again. All right, through the final couple of corners, we're actually going to finish the race. Oh, jeez. I keep forgetting this thing only has like three gears. And, oh, no, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> just, you just can't even put your foot down. No, must beat the go-kart. Must beat the go-kart. Come on. <laughs> no, just go straight. <laughs> No, 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 come on! I think we got it, I think we got it, yes. <laughs> Look at it go! Oh, mate, that was that was actually hilarious. All right, so just out of interest, uh, the F1 car, obviously one, uh, only 18 seconds behind, though, uh, was the Indy car. Then it was the uh, Daytona prototype, which makes sense. Unfortunately, there is no LMP1 mod out there that's sort of, sort of up-to-date or realistic. Anyway, after the Daytona prototype was the... LMP2 car, then it was the V8 supercar, that's interesting, followed by the cup car, so where was the GT3, then it was the Xfinity car, then it was the GTE car, there is no way that GTE car would finish behind the two stock cars, or even the V8 supercar, then it was the Indy Lights car, followed by the Indy Pro 2000, in real life the Indy Lights car would have cleared well off into the distance compared to uh, the Pro 2000 car. Then the Formula E actually held its own, even though it's probably one of the slowest cars out there. Then it was uh, the USF 2000 Toyota Racing Series car. I don't know why, but the GT3 is uh, ridiculously far back. Even the uh, <laughs> GT3 Cup car is way further back than it should be. The uh, supercar is just... I mean, just look at that thing go. That's just That's like 4Gs. That thing is pulling around that corner. They are so ridiculously fast. Oh, God, there's a little in-lap wreck. The Formula 3 car ended up DNFing. Uh, the TCR car was pretty far back. Formula Ford was pretty far back. And then the Clio Cup car, the Beetle, and basically me and the cart was all pretty much where I'd expected. All right, let's check out uh, the view of the start from the onboard of the actual cart. You see us clearing off into the distance. We've got Formula E in front of us. And there goes the IndyCar. Just move that out of the way. Oh, that's kind of... Man, look at that F1 car go. That is just so ridiculously quick. Man, this is actually awesome, honest to God. Look, this poor, poor old cart's already revved out. <laughs> Can't go any quicker. Oh, um, Whoa, hold on to it. See, it's they are so quick through the corners, though. That's the thing. Like, go-kart tyres are so soft. And the power-to-weight ratio is so, well, great. Well, more than actually, the sort of the grip-to-weight ratio is just ridiculous. All right, so this is on board with the V8 supercar that started behind the F1 car. It's amazing. Look, you can actually see over the top of the F1 car. Oh, my days. Oh man, look at that thing go! So 
So the V8 supercar actually has a lot of horsepower. Like, that thing is hauling ass once it gets up to speed. It just doesn't want to stop and it doesn't really want to turn. Okay, so I'm now going to switch around. We're going to be in the F1 car this time. We're going to go and do the same thing, another lap. Uh, but we're going to start off of dead last and give the field a good 30-second head start and see how many we can actually pass throughout the single lap. Here we go. Chucker in first. Woo! Yeah! Oh, Jesus, man, this is so much quicker than the Formula V. Alright, into turn number one. Hold on the brakes. Under the Dunlop Bridge, man, you just go through the gears so quick. Alright, now onto the straight. Let's see what sort of speeds we can hit. 210, 215. 220, my god, 225 miles an hour. This is just hole in the mail. Oh my god. Okay, that was the go kart. <laughs> we would have decapitated that guy. Alright, come on, come on. Oh, a bit wide. Get the power down. Oh, there's the Formula V. <laughs> the trouble is, I can't actually see what's in front of me because the freaking halo's in the way. I keep having to weave down the straight. down past the GT3 Cup car and the Formula Ford in one go. Oh my gosh, that's getting close. Alright, it's the Formula E. Man, could you imagine driving a Formula E after driving a Formula 1 car? All those drivers that have gone down to that series, just oh, slightly depressing. Imagine if you're getting paid to race cars, it's not really much to complain. I don't know what that is, but there's the Indy Lights car going through. Oh, there's the Supercar. Woohoo! I got a break because we got, I think that's either, no, that's the Toyota Racing Series car and the LMP3. Alright, now we're coming up to some of the tin tops. Ooh. Breeze past these guys. You! Uh. Already towards the end of the lap now, through the Porsche curbs. Oh man, oh, I'm just going to cut that corner because that was never going to end well. Here's the Daytona prototype. And through the final chicanes. And across the line, so we were fourth. Okay, so there was three cars that finished in front of us. All right, and the three cars were the Formula 3 car. Interesting. Don't quite know how that happened. Uh, the LMP2 car and, of course, the Indy car. So a different running order. Well, definitely the R Factor 2 AI played a big role in, <laughs> in the outcome of these two races. Probably more than what I was expecting. But still interesting to see where some cars uh, finished up. That's just incredible, the speed difference of an F1 car compared to all these cars. <laughs> I mean, we all love GTE cars, but that really kind of puts it to shame. I mean, it's, li <laughs> it's literally there and then it's just gone. I just, I could not imagine going that fast. Anyway, that's enough of me frothing over an F1 car. Uh, thanks guys for tuning in. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like and subscribe. I post daily sim racing content from a range of different motorsport categories on a range of different uh, sim racing games. So yeah, until next time, I'll catch you guys later.